Well, here we go. Vlog time. Vlogging to Toronto. So we're going to uh, Carcosa with Indestruction and we are actually gonna go see them play. I'm actually stoked to meet Johnny and uh, Andrew as well. Playing at the Hard Luck, so very curious to see how this goes. Probably gonna go pick up some food. I think it's uh, a nice uh, shawarma shop, so it's kind of like the go-to before an actual uh, concert or something like that. So weird being out here like this. We are actually uh, checking out, obviously having a beer. Cheers to that. And grab some uh, bar food. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I'm doing myself today. I just want to say right now as well, these Rode microphones, I just tested out quickly and they are fucking mint. Just want to say a big shout out to Rode. Thank you so much for hooking us up with this kind of stuff. Uh, just to be able to do our videos, uh, I want to start vlogging and stuff like this. So guys, let me know down in the comments how you guys are thinking about this. Uh, I want to do cool concert stuff. I think it's going to be fun. Let's check out uh, what Johnny and the boys are doing. Now let's go enjoy a nice show. It's kind of recognizing without the stank <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I saw that they were coming by, so I was like, yo, I want to come see you guys. So, especially with Indestruction, I'm a big fan of those guys too. I'm a Johnny fanboy. Yeah. Are you? That's awesome. I'm here for all but Carcosa's like my, yes, I've been an Angel Maker fan since day one. So like me and Honestly, like I haven't even listened to Angel Maker. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> There you go. Hell yeah. Well, welcome to my vlog, guys. <laughs> Where's your, what's your names? Liam. Liam? So, I met some friends over here. Hello, what's your name? Tara. Tara. I, I also go by uh, Shop by Demon. Hell yeah. And you're a photographer as well? A photographer and videographer. And you, and you got your gear ready to go? Yes. Yes, that's awesome. What, have, what, what kind of bands have you done photos for? Uh, Temper Tantrum, Rust, um, Single Wound, a bunch of local bands. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're really great. Um, there's also a bunch of new bands out there. Like Camaro's fantastic. Definitely check them out if you like hardcore. There you go. <laughs> um, and then for bigger bands, I've gotten to shoot uh, Trivium, Knocked Loose. No, Trivium! Yeah. That's aw Did you get to meet Matt Heapy? No, no. It was no. just like sides. Like that's behind, awesome. yeah. Yeah, so that I, I used to do a little bit of photos as well. I think like my, my big name drop bands are like Monine, uh, oh, USS as well. Like I'm from like the Hamilton Burlington area, so like I got to do like a little bit of that stuff with them. Um, Protest of Hero is like a big fan of mine. So yeah. Rody's a really good guy. So yeah, other yeah. than that, it's really cool. That's really neat. Awesome. I hey. Future Orion over here, post some of that stuff up. I'll get your con. Do you have a card on you? Uh, no. Oh, I'm no, prepared. Don't worry, I, I don't out. have any either. <laughs> I ran out. I do stickers and I ran out. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And who, who are you? Uh, I'm Liam. Liam, this is Liam. Hey. You're a big Carcosa fan. Johnny I, fan, sorry. I'm a Johnny fan. Johnny fan. Yeah, I'm there for anything he does. Anything. Anything he does. Everything and everything. Everything and anything. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. What, what's your favorite video that he's done on TikTok? Are you a big TikTok guy? or? I, I'm a bit, I'm trying to break the habit, but no, I'm there most days. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Oh man, I can't, his uh, his Valentine's Day videos. <laughs> <laughs> the pick up They're amazing. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. You're so sexy. My zipper's falling for you. That has to be one of the most generic ones of all time. I've known pants with zippers in years. They are <laughs> phenomenal. Oh, we're doing an Inception selfie here. <laughs> I gotta do the face. <laughs> so, you guys listen to Within Destruction or any of the other bands? Uh, I've recently got into them, um, but yeah, no, I'm excited to get as much as I can tonight. Hell yeah! Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Within Destruction, uh, their Lotus album, phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fox Lake has a new single. Fucking man. Fox Lake has a new single and it's, it's, it's good. I've done a couple. I, I met the guy coming down in the stairs. I'm like, I think I've done some reactions to you guys as well. So it was kind of cool to see that. And uh, 
Yeah, and then victims. You guys know victims? Oh, all? So oh yeah, they're they're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Fucking right there, buds. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining my video here. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here, but uh, doing something or something or something. So we'll see you guys inside. How's it going, buddy? What's up, dude? How are you? Good to see you as well. Fuck yeah. Hey guys. What's up, guys? You know what I just realized about messaging me? What he? Fair. Just said, what's up? Uh, are we doing that? Welcome to Toronto. Is this your first time to Toronto? Uh, no. No, okay. But it's been like 10 years or something like that. Wow. Well, welcome back, man. Nice to meet you, too, by the way. Nice guitar as well. Look at that bad boy. It's a new one. Yeah. That's wicked. What's up, man? That's me. That's awesome, man. Nice to have you guys here. Are you the YouTube guy? I am. I, I mean, I do YouTube. You broke your lamp and then you're like, I did. Whoa, oh, shit. What? The 1056. I didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, hell yeah. You do within destruction videos. All I do. The time. I do. <laughs> What's going on? Your name is not Blair. No, it's what not Blair. Can you imagine? Legally, <laughs> it's just, just my name is Blair. <laughs> I'm down. My name is Blair. I, I mean, you know, I always, I always maintained that it was, it was created by Andrew York uh, in Long Island from Straight from the Path. Uh, I'll say roughly Villains era, so 2009, because I love Drew with all of my heart. And that's the first time I heard Blair. So he's the oh, inventor really? of it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And, and to me, like, um, I don't know. Uh, I think the latest we went back on was uh, earliest metal core band. No effects. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a no effects song that has like no four blasts in it. But quadruple. Yeah, quadruple. I guess. Hey, hello. Hello. What's up? How's it going? Good man. How are you? Who are you? I. My name is Bradley. Bradley I, Cooper. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, indeed. I'm yes. rich and famous and handsome. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> Bradley's Order Dragger. I used to, well, I, I still kind of do banger TV, but like not really. But I manage bands. I manage Carcosa. Johnny's right over there. Oh, you're the Brad. You're I'm the Brad the I Brad. talk to on yeah. Instagram all yeah. the time. That's me. <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's Brad, Brad. I was finally good to meet you, yeah, man. You too, man. <laughs> I'm like, too. oh, we talk all the time. So Hell I was yeah. like, oh, shit. You're like, check off of Sulfur. Check off Sulfur. <laughs> and you did. And I did. And I did. And I love him. Honestly, Ricky's vocals are phenomenal. He's a, he's a bit of a freak, you know? How you Is he? No, like a, a vocal freak. Like, he can do anything. Yeah. You know? So this guy. This guy can do it all. This guy can do it all. He's in a rock right. band. Do you know that? Oh, called yeah. Bastion. Are, Are we a rock band? I don't know. It's not a it's metal. Death, it's more metalcore. It's not a deathcore band. It's not a deathcore band. Yeah. Yeah, I play in that band. But you, you, you're. The, are you a singer? Yeah. Yeah, he well, sings. I band. mostly sing in that. He mostly see. Yeah. Rock yeah. slash metalcore. Pretty much only sing in that. Mm, yeah. See? It's kind of nice. I like only singing sometimes. Yeah. It's not as strenuous. Yeah. You don't I, have to do. Yeah. I mean, this is fine. I'm fine. It's all gonna be fine. But I like singing. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it enough. Scary vocals. You got to do more. Too. Yeah. Are you gonna do more? What in this? Yeah. Eventually, uh, it probably will be the natural way just of things. Jacked my interview. Here. <laughs> Carry away. I'll, I'll just put my you. face in here every. Yeah. Once I mean, I'm just gonna keep talking. Like, I mean, I know stuff. Yeah. I know stuff. He about works what for we're us. Doing. I don't know I do. why he's asking these questions. See that? I didn't know that. Though. Yeah. That, that's the thing. Yeah, it's, I know uh, stuff. Brad Dragon Slayer, whatever his last name yeah. is. Yeah. It's similar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's pretty cool. Accurate. I have slayed dragons. I know. I know. I'm sure that that's like a fucking terrible like euphemism for having sex, and I did not mean it that way. This is a good interview. Because I've never had sex. <laughs> Travis is like, okay. okay. <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt your interview. I'm gonna go Yo, this is good room. content, actually. Yeah, this is good content. We got some fresh meat in here. Yeah. I didn't know that you were from, from Toronto. No? I didn't know that. They're oh, all yeah, from yeah. Toronto. I know We're all from Toronto. YouTube on metal. This is. guy was like, holy shit. <laughs> I, I mean, I was amazed when I found out Proton John was from fucking Canada. I was like, because I thought everyone... What is Proton John? Was, uh, he's like some LP -er from the, or the like mid-2000s or something. Okay. LP -er means Let's Play or they play video games. Okay. Uh, I was like, yeah, like a Linkin Parker? Nice. Sam. That would be Lincoln sick. Linkin Park just dropped a new song today, too. Yeah, Did you hear it? it I have not right. yet. I it have not right. yet. All right. Um, Hello. What's up? It's nice to Andrew. You. It's nice to meet you too. Are we singing? You're a lot well, smaller than I thought you were. Great. <laughs> <laughs> You're the second person to say that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, oh, that's by it. the way, Jess will probably be watching as well. She says to say hi. Hello. Hello. 
Pelosi. Man, you made it. That's yeah, awesome. How's it been? but it's good. Yeah, no, it's been awesome so far. Um, almost every show has been really good. There's been like two times we've had technical difficulties, but we pulled it off. Oh, that's nobody not bad. noticed. Out of how many shows? Oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Probably like 15. I don't know, man. What day is it? What month is it? No idea. The 10th of February. Uh, I guess this is the so only like, date I know. Probably like know. 14 shows or something like that so far. Oh, that's not it's bad. It's been a decent amount. Okay, so this is what kind of boggles my mind, is that I watched the podcast with mm-hmm. you on uh, the Suicide Silent Cut. What was his name again? I keep forgetting. Chris Garza. Chris, yeah. that's it, yeah, yeah. So, like, when you went to California, yeah. that was your seventh show. And it was our second day of the tour. So we were, like, very fresh into everything. How so. does that even happen? I don't know. <laughs> Start a band during a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Well, the, yeah, the rest we, is in that podcast. Yeah. Go watch it. <laughs> yeah, because we, we uh, weren't able to play shows for, like, the first, like, year and a half of Carcosa, basically. Right. Because we, we put out our first EP in August 2020, I think, maybe June 2020. So that whole, all of 2020 couldn't do anything in terms of live shows. June was the first single, August. Was the there you go. This is our, our manager, Brad. He knows more than me. Um, <laughs> I don't even work for you guys. I know, <laughs> but you pay attention and I don't. He, he was, he was uh, what's the word? Uh, scouting. Yeah. Scouting. I mean, I was friends with him, so yeah. it's like, when I started, it was just like, what can I help you with? And then, I think I was just helping you and then eventually, in a message, you guys like, called me your manager and I was probably like we should probably like pay you to help us and not do it for free I distinctly remember there was there was a time when I was like hey we should send this email Mm -hmm. to do this and one of you guys was like it'd be better coming from our manager and I was like you're what now all right let's go and And that's how he snuck his way into being our manager and that was basically (laughs) it you know yeah Yeah. hell yeah Um, that's actually really cool yeah. yeah But yeah, we. How long have we been working with you? Like two years, year and a half, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was. It would have been after Devoid, but yeah. before Anthology. Yeah, and Devoid was still 2020. It yeah. was like the end of 2020. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was probably the early 21. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer your your question about live shows, yeah, we didn't have the opportunity to play anything in 2020, and then in 2021, I think we played our first three shows, all in the span of like a week. <laughs> so we did our first show, and then we did two back to back shows because it was all during COVID. It felt like a high school talent show. It was super weird. <laughs> high um, school talent show. Yeah. So there was the air guitar. Pretty, yeah, well, just about. But yeah, we played with uh, our first show was at actually the show we just played our hometown show on this tour with. So it's kind of nice to do that full circle with like an actual uh, proper show. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, the first time it was weird. Like everyone had to sit down, and it was half capacity. So you're like playing deathcore, but everyone's just sitting there like. <laughs> so we're like, I think they Jazz like it, club. but I have no idea. <laughs> And then same thing, a week later, we played two back-to-back shows with Archspire, because again, there was like a weird British Columbia COVID rules yeah. where it was sold out, but they weren't allowed to sell it out, so they had to do half capacity and do two shows. It was fucked, but what, we did it anyways. Technically sold out. What about, did you, I, I like zoned out, I just saw one of my friends, but oh. did we talk about how the first show you played was to nobody, <laughs> just cameras? <laughs> Oh yeah, technically, like the uh, live yeah, performance live thing. Performance. Yeah, that's true. So I don't, <laughs> the first four shows were fucking weird. Yeah, I did, I don't consider that a live show, but I guess it was. And then straight into fests. Yeah, yeah. and right. then we did two festivals in 2022, and those are the only two shows we played that year because again, COVID rules were still kind of like Shifting. a little weird until the summer or something like that. Um, so we only played the two festivals, and then we at the time we played the festivals, we knew we were doing this tour, so we're like, well we should probably hold off on playing shows anyways because we're about to do 30 of them in a row. <laughs> so let's focus on that instead um, and write new music. So yeah, not too much live music, mostly just focusing on the online stuff, YouTube, That's TikTok, working. all that. And you guys have been crushing that. I think like I've just been like inspired by you and Johnny and I, we've had conversations back and forth and yeah, you were almost at what, 800 and some I've been, odd? Yeah, I've been stuck at like 800 50 K for like man. a year it like has not moved which is fine I'm happy yeah. with that number but it was weird it was like a really really fast growth all the way to that number and then all last year it basically was the same number and hasn't grown maybe we need to come up with a new idea or something I'm open to ideas but uh slide yeah, into yeah. his DMs or my emails yeah <laughs> <laughs> Brad will tell us what to do, and we have to listen. No, that, that's that's really cool, man. Like, I I still can't believe how you guys have came to this position, to be honest. Um, 
I guess like other questions I kind of have for you as well. Like, uh, like how are you guys managing? Are you still putting out content and stuff like that? Short form? I mean, you just dropped a new song, which is it's amazing, <laughs> by the you. way. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So for my channel in particular and the stuff that I'm doing with Johnny, like the kind of Mimi like pickup lines and all that. Yeah. We basically pre-prepped as much as we could. So I made uh, like good for you. I made like four or five videos before we left for tour that I could just upload on my channel and I hired my friend Connor Gilkinson, shout out to him. And he basically edited everything Bro, for me. Bro, having an editor yeah. is game changing. Is I literally just got one and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Wait, you don't edit your own stuff? No, I do. Trust me, I got three years of grinding That's and I grinding. Yeah. <laughs> I have been editing almost everything until now. This is the first time I've hired an editor to consistently edit stuff. I've had Connor do other videos for me in the past, but it's usually like specific ones where I'm like, I think this one needs a little bit of extra love yeah. that I just don't know how to to do um, but up until now I've done almost all my edits myself and good for you man uh, thank you I think, I think that's why I'm like I'm just more attracted like and Johnny's been doing crazy wicked things with his channel as well yeah. but like I think I've just been watching you more for a while and your guitar covers and stuff like that like you've just grown and, and I love with uh, your podcast that you had like you you kind of put out there of you know you got to change to what the audience kind of wants as well to a degree it's a it's a weird mixture of both right where yeah. like how do i explain this i can't remember what <laughs> it's I, hard i can't remember what i said on the podcast but it's more or less like the musician in you uh in my case at least like because i'm a musician and a content creator like yeah. it took me a while to kind of like split the two and realize like this is my business and this is my art and they don't necessarily Ooh. have to be the same thing so for my youtube channel like there are some videos that i do for me because i'm like i don't care if people watch this i like it yeah and there are some videos where i'm like well this i know will work therefore i should do it because it's my job and i need money like let's right. be honest here so it's a it's a little bit weird and i think a lot of mu music youtubers in particular get really hung up on that yeah because they're like they're like artists first and content creators second so they have that like kind of mental block where they're like well like for example like i don't want to do the same video twice because i already did that i want to do something new yeah whereas for youtube you're like that's not the way you should do it you're like if something worked fucking you do it again you have to grind it yeah. for a little bit yeah especially i mean for reactions it's like you know you get the big bands you got to react to it and I mean, it's all nice and dandy, but like, you know, I, I kind of want to do a little bit of rap stuff, a little bit of K-pop stuff, but like when you're stuck in a genre, it's so tough, yeah. man. But it's also like the audience or the, you know, people that follow you also can tell when you are having a good time. True. So a lot of the videos that I, and or that ended up being like some of my most popular videos were things that I did not think were going to do well. Cause I was like, well, I think this is a cool video, but also like, you know, I didn't really put that much effort into it, so I don't really expect anything. Hell yeah. And then that one blows up, but the video that I put, like, days of work into, like, nobody gives a fuck. So it's, it's weird. <laughs> no, it is weird. It definitely is. Man, that's crazy. I'm so glad that you guys are here. And, like, just touring with these guys, with, uh, obviously, with Instruction, you got Victims on here. So uh, Victims came on to your tour yesterday. yesterday. Yes. Awesome. How's that been? Uh, they're they're really fresh. I've only seen them last night, so oh okay. Yeah, so this like, is they're brand new to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've, first... I reacted to them a couple times. Okay, cool. Oh no, like I've heard their music before. Okay, but uh, last night was the first time like seeing them live with us, and yeah, they put on a really good show. Nice. It's like, I'm stoked. Uh, it's uh, intimidating, let's say, in a good way. Intimidating. Yeah, like they put on a very good show. See, like th there's a lot of tables around <laughs> here, and I'm wondering, I'm like, are they gonna clear all this stuff I out? Hope so, but I don't know. I've never been here before, so. <laughs> Neither have I, actually. This oh, is really? the first time, yeah. I don't really come to Toronto shows. Are you not from around here? No, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're just... I just, I don't go to shows. Honestly, gotcha. the pandemic kind of, like, destroyed me on that kind of stuff. Uh, but in, like, my past relationships, like, she listened to more, like, Paramore stuff. Okay. So <laughs> it was, like, all Paramore that I went to. Um, but even, in my, even my, uh, my girlfriend now, and she's... She loves the metal. She actually came up with the whole like Bleh brand thing. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. So she like designed, she's not a graphic designer at all and she's done all that kind of stuff. So a big shout out to her because she, I probably wouldn't be as far along if it wasn't for her. So, so you make like pretty good revenue from your merch then? I'll talk to you off camera about that, but it, no, it's I'm not like it's telling decent. you to tell me how much you make. No, no, it's good. Honestly, uh, with all that stuff, it's been it's been really good. Um, 
I think I did a podcast with uh, Johnny from the Browning. Oh, cool. And we talked a little bit more about that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's really cool to, to see people and build a community around it. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking Definitely. about for the community side of and things. And it's also interesting talking to other YouTubers or even like people who do yeah, different... Yeah, we're not so sponsored by Tim Hortons. <laughs> who do different types of content. Like in your case, like I don't personally do reaction videos and you do. So right. the way that you... Uh, how do I say this? Like the way that you model your business would be different than how I model mine, but True. there's definitely crossover or things we can learn from each other. So it's it's always I, I think it's interesting, yeah. especially where I'm from. Like there are no music YouTubers at all near me. So when I come to Toronto, for example, and I get to meet people in person, that's when you like actually learn stuff. That's cool. Um, luckily, yeah, we're all from here. It's weird. Yeah, you guys are lucky. Um, but yeah, no, it's interesting because now more than ever, YouTubers from all different types of content are more willing to like talk about how they're making it because like right. for me, like I've been doing YouTube for basically like 10 years and it was that's only the last four years where it became profitable because I had oh, no, no idea way. what I was doing. Okay. And I wasn't necessarily trying to make it a full-time job. I was just making videos because like, ah, it's fun, I guess. Yeah. Um, but, you, you know. You stress that out a lot, too. I noticed on your posts on Facebook and stuff like that, you really dial in on, like, spread yourself out. Don't just, you know, go off of ad revenue. Don't just yeah, do this yeah, and that. Exactly. So I totally That's what I'm saying. That. is like I like hearing how other content creators are, are basically forming their business because I I think that's interesting because yeah. it took me a long time to figure out like how am I going to make enough money to keep doing this without having to go back to getting a part-time job full-time job because I don't want to I want to do this and not work for anybody ever again oh, hell yeah dude I've been like uh, on my own like an entrepreneur I think I want to say like 16 I kind of had that uh, that initial spark like so to, yeah I was 16 years old I was playing oh, wow. in bands okay. as well and then I was hosting concerts oh, okay. so there's a place in Hamilton over there like just a couple cities down and and uh, I was putting on concerts with like my band and that was a way that I could just put my own yeah, band yeah. on there so I was hosting that you know pay all the door guys the bar and all this and that so I became really good with that and then I started doing photography for mm -hmm. bands mm -hmm. charge them like 60 bucks a show kind of yeah. thing MySpace back in the day yeah, I don't know how old you are but like yeah. MySpace was like yeah, yeah. the shit back then I then I dabbled into uh, graphic design and stuff like that so it kind of came hand in hand doing all my stuff um, but other than that yeah we uh, like with the whole YouTube stuff, it's it's been tough. Mm -hmm. well, here. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's that's kind of what I mean, though. It's it's interesting because there's so many different ways to do it. Like yeah. for me, like I now I only work for myself, so to speak. Like I make my own content, yep. and that's how I make my revenue. But it's not just ad revenue. It's like ad revenue sponsors, Patreon, merch, like this, this, this. Like there's like ten different ways to combined make like a good amount of money. If I was like only relying on YouTube ad revenue, I'd be completely fucked. Oh, so would I. Yeah. Especially well, yeah, reactions, reactions, man. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. Same for yeah I, I came all the way over here to see if you could actually clear the the whitelist <laughs> of the reaction. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't really care. Honestly, it's not much. That's the thing. Yeah. And also, even even copyright claims aside, like you're making, I don't know, five to ten dollars a video. A video, if that, which is not much. Like yeah. definitely not enough to live off of. Um, but so, yeah. So like even that, like for us, like I mean, for me, I guess where I kind of like pull in the revenue from is obviously the Black merch. Yeah. Comes in hot and handy. Um, Twitch streams, reacting to you know viewer requests and stuff like that, obviously helps. Patreon, album reviews. So like I, I think it's really tough to even, and if there are other reactors that are listening and watching, just just like, just try everything and anything. I well, think it's the main thing. And you never know what is or isn't going to work. And like something I've said before as well is like figuring out a way to monetize work you're already doing yeah. is like the best. It's hard to do, kind of. But like for for me, what I did, uh, which a lot of other guitar YouTubers do, oh, is like offer you know like guitar tabs or stems or something like that. So I'm like I'm already making the guitar tabs because I have to learn how to play them. Them. So like this file already <laughs> exists, so I might as well sell it. It's like when you're in school, you got to write lines for like doing something bad. It's yeah. like rinse and repeat, and then you'll finally learn your own songs, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> or like the stems, it's like I already had to record myself, and some True. people might want to practice mix it. Like whatever, you can always find like a way to maximize the amount of work you're already doing, so that you don't have to do more work necessarily. 
you're like, what can you use that you've already done to make even more money? Yeah. That's like my big thing I try and It's just being people. creative. Yeah. Oh man, that's awesome. Dude, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I know we can talk all night. I know you got other stuff to do. There's people are gonna be piling in real soon and we'll get some footage for you guys on here as well. But dude, I just wanna say, welcome back to Toronto. Thank, thank you so much and go kill it out there. Thanks, man. Cheers. It's great meeting you. You too. It's time to meet your fucking maker! you can do last song last chance this one is called Death Wish <laughs> 